nenyo mwenge nempuli ya kare nga mvude konze na siti ate gira vindu. My name is Shen Kairibo from Topowa Youth Mentoring Uganda and this is the Cool Teen Pod Talk at Hana International School, Uganda. And I'm joined by my beautiful and handsome people here. So let me first allow them to introduce themselves before we go any further. Well, a very good evening to everyone joining us on this live podcast here at the Great Mighty Isu, Hana International School, Uganda. I am Pauline Rosemary. Thank you so much, Pauline. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, this is John Trevor, aka JT. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. So today we want to, to, to share with you about substance abuse. And I would like to ask my colleagues to give their own understanding of substance abuse when they hear the word substance abuse, what comes into their mind. So I'm going to ask each one of them to explain to us what they understand by substance abuse. And I'll definitely search with a lady. Uh, thank you very much. I am indeed honored. Um, what I understand from substance abuse or drug abuse is the use of a drug in a way that is harmful to one's health or to one's body and using it in a way that is very negative to one's health. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. So, so I'm pleased to show this also your, your understanding of uh, substance abuse. Um, substance abuse is the use of a drug in a way that is harmful to the body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind of similar, I yep. don't know. <laughs> That's a okay, um, uh, we all believe uh, this is uh, drug abuse is something, okay, substance abuse is something that is so common among the young people today. And um, I believe the various causes of uh, them taking the drugs. So, I want, to share with, um, I want you to share with us what you think are the leading causes of uh, substance abuse. Why do you think these people go into taking the drug? So basically, that is what we want you to share with us because we believe there are reasons that's why they do them. They can just wake up out of the blue and start taking drugs. So if you don't mind, you can share with us the leading causes of substance abuse among us, the young people today. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, I think the leading causes of substance abuse is um, one, mentality. Uh, so many kids nowadays are driven by their emotions. They put their emotions into everything they do. Some kids are depressed because maybe they're not friends anymore. Friends tend to be so um, mean to each other, tend to uh, backstab each other. And it can be so hard to be alone as a, an individual. So that can lead to depression. And then also people uh, like forming relationships um, as being youth, as being teenagers. Of course, those feelings come. But I think I'll let my colleague go deeper into that. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Polly. So, you said John Trevor, right? No, so, JT. <laughs> Please, if you, you also share with us the, what do you think the leading causes of uh, substance abuse are. Um, me, I'm going to talk about the, the relationship part because okay. I have experience with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, most kids, um, most people tend to join relationships and maybe after a while they tend to break up and after the breakup, you get depressed and you can decide to do drugs or take alcohol and not forget your partner. Hmm. But sometimes it's hard. Of course you can't. Yeah, it's very hard, yeah. you know, when yeah. you share so many memories and it's everything. It's very hard to wash away all the yeah. memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I personally have ever, you know. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so please. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So, so you're giving it out of experience. Yeah, out of experience. Okay. Yeah. I've been in a relationship before. And then you broke up? Yeah, it was for five years. Wow. Ah. Yeah, for five years. And then you broke up? And then we broke up. And then you took alcohol? I got a, a J. You know, nowadays <laughs> we call them J's. <laughs> I got a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I decided to smoke it. I thought maybe I would forget. Hmm. Okay, I forgot for a while. Hmm. But then when the thing was off my head, Mm. <laughs> Problems came back. Okay, so do you still take a J? 
No, I, I got to realize that it's useless. Okay, okay, yeah. that's good. That is so good of you. Yeah. Okay, having had the leading causes of uh, uh, substance abuse, my my friend here, Pauline, talks about mental mental related issues, like depression. So we believe there are very many things that cause depression besides the relationship part. Um, and I would like to ask you to share with us those are the causes of depression. The things that drive, bring, the things that bring it, someone to, okay, the things that make someone get depressed and then they decide to take the substances. So yeah, we would like you to share with us those um, various causes of uh, depression, mental illness and all that. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I really think the various causes of this habit would be um, parents. Well, now, if you don't mind, sorry to cut you short, you could uh, maybe start by telling us, um, maybe yeah, defining it and uh, making it easy for someone to understand. Okay. Well, yes. mental health, by definition, um, refers to the state of the mind being healthy, uh, physically and socially fit, ready to take action, ready to take in anything. Okay. Um, and uh, people are really struggling nowadays uh, with depression, which affects the mind negatively and will later on affect the body because once you're depressed, you start doing these bad habits. You, you misuse drugs, uh -huh. which can affect you negatively and make you sick. So um, parents nowadays are really busy with work sometimes i don't have time to sit down the children and be like oh my son or my daughter um you see this is how the world is no and there's so much technology going on and people yeah. are learning so many so many bad habits from social their phones media. from social media yeah. and it's crazy uh when you take a look at homosexuality it has always been there beginning from the bible but when you have a look at the new generation it has spread because of our phones because of the social media yeah. so Sometimes a child may have so much on their mind and they really want to open up to their parents yeah, because family comes first. But they can't because me mom has to do work. Maybe mom is abroad and they're left with their nannies or house helpers and they have no one to talk to. So that can also lead to depression because they're squeezing little parts with all their emotions and they have nowhere to let them out. And then uh, people nowadays in the holidays like to organize plots, which is basically a, a meetup somewhere like a restaurant or anything. And... People those meetups that are unsupervised, unauthorized, people do so many horrible Pink. things. Yeah. You know, there's there's taking weed, you know, vaping, alcohol. there's alcohol. So many bad habits can be um, shared to, within people from yeah. those plots. So I think, guidance. yeah, so I think it's mainly guidance mm. and, you know, authority mm. that may cause those problems okay. as well. Okay, thank you so much, Pauline. So, um... <laughs> I'm going to also ask my friend JT, right, to give us uh, the causes. What do you think the causes, those reasons that people, uh, the reasons that's why people take, people get depressed because we believe there are very many. So if you don't, you can share with us the few that you, you still have experience about. <laughs> yeah, I had experience about one. Uh, okay, you can yeah. help us be, uh, maybe, um, uh, you define mental mental health. Yeah, then you give us some examples. The people, why people, that cause the mental illness. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, mental health, my words. Mm. Um, it refers to the to the well-being of someone mentally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for about the causes of the depression part. Yeah. The various reasons like. Like she said, yeah. Um, family background, lots of things. Social media, yeah. Peer pressure, lots of things. Mm. Yeah. Okay, this way you're very brief. Eh? <laughs> you don't want <laughs> too much explaining. Yeah, I, I'm not. Want, I'm a man of few words. Ah, okay, <laughs> man of few words. Did. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so to. Um, Having heard about mental mental illness, having heard about the causes of uh, of uh, substance abuse, I would like you to share with us what um, things do you think the youth out there can do so that they can obstruct them from joining the uh, the okay obstruct them from taking uh, substances that are going to affect them, like 
you said alcohol, like he said, a J. So what things do you think the, the youth can do that can keep them busy so they don't involve themselves in doing such things? Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, my take on this question or uh, what I would say to the viewers out there is just find something that you're passionate about, like an activity, it can be a sport or anything, a habit that will take you off. I personally, I'm a singer, songwriter, and I also dance. Wow. And honestly, that can take me off a lot of things. Cause just imagine sitting down to write a song, you won't finish it in one day. Dance practice. I, at home, I normally have dance practice like often throughout the week. That also, you know, keeps me preoccupied. So I won't look for something else to do that may be, you know, a little bit awkward or inappropriate. And of course, if you're Christian or if you're Muslim, you can always, you know, open a Quran or open a Bible and read. And there's so many youth camps that are being brought up that are teaching children how to be responsible, how to uh, look at life from various aspects. What can you do in your personal time, in your leisure time? You know, you can just do something very productive. So I also play basketball and honestly, that really keeps me preoccupied. It's good for my health, yeah, for my brain, yeah, and the rest of my body, and it keeps me focused on my goals. Oh, thank you so much. So, my friend JT, you could also share with us the things that you think our fellows there could do to keep themselves busy, so they don't involve themselves in taking the substances that are not good to your health. Um, personally, me, I'd recommend um fellowships okay yeah, yeah. fellowships okay um, and me personally um i do sports well wow. yeah i play cool. basketball awesome yeah and i'm a dancer too oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay. with that i'm always occupied and mm. i really don't have the gap to take alcohol no. like i'm always happy you know okay yeah so i can't get them to take alcohol to smoke the jane no more yeah okay, that's good yeah. that's a good of you so i'm brief you 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 are devising your fellows out there to do things that they're passionate about things that are going to keep them busy um things uh, that are productive right it's very important to have something aside from your studies in this world because jobs are not always going to be there if you look at the economy you'll see that people are lacking jobs and it's yeah. not because well, it's like so full but if you can have something you could do aside from your job maybe you can sing at small concerts you'll be getting like a side hustle for yeah. your income which is very important because it can help you yeah. in so so many ways and i think if you have academics and something you're passionate about you can be a very very great person well wow. thank you so much so uh, i want you to also uh, to let's go to parents side so what do you think uh, parents can do for for the children the, the young people to help them or guide them um believe they could be very busy but um amid a busy schedule I believe they can always create time for their children. So how do you think they can help them overcome, or how do you think they can help them not get involved in taking substances? Because um, if my parent is very strict, or so when there's some, there's a way parents can uh, guide us home, and you know, um, I can't, I can't do this because mom will, you get my point, yeah. Um, there's, there's a way they always do it, I don't know, because it happens in different families. The way my mom does it isn't the way yours does it or his, so um, how do you think they can help us overcome or not join the, okay, not take the drugs when we are still underage? Can I answer that? Please. Um. I would say um, I would advise parents to get time for their kids. Yes. And maybe expose them to the outside world. Yeah. Like you tell them that this is bad and this is good. Mm. For example, me, my mom always tells me, you're not supposed to smoke because mm. when you smoke, this happens. And yeah. we normally visit the the cancer ward in Malago. Mm. And it shows you. Yeah, it shows, shows you what, yeah, happened. Exactly. what is happening. Yeah, to this in days. real life. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay. So with that, I know yeah. that if I smoke, Mm. I'm going to get problems with my liver and I'm going to be able to like those, those yeah. people. Okay. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't want that. Wow, yeah. okay. That's that is so view. good. That is so good. So, you also have something to say? 
Yeah, um, I won't differ so much from my colleague JT, but um, yeah, it is a busy world. Parents have to work, but I think you know, being there for children at least once in a while, telling them that you know this is bad for you, this is, this is good for you, and sometimes being strict may not be the best way of doing things, yeah. but just giving your children a sense of mind and talking to them, a parent to a child, will do really, really good for them. Thank you so much. And uh, just to add on what my colleagues have just said, um, what I can say, our parents, what parents can do for us, because we believe uh, they say char charity begins at home. Yes. So, your parents should create that. Um, besides you being my parent, you have to be my friend. So you should create room for me to open up to you, because if I don't open up to you, I'm going to do things that I do not know about. I don't know what is going to happen to me when I do something. So I always advise, oh, I'm advising my uh, dear parents to give us that, that room. Because at the end of the day, if we get spoiled, it's you that we are going to disturb. We are going to become problems to you. Yeah, and before we close, we have a singer here. And if she doesn't, <laughs> and a rapper. <laughs> so if she doesn't want, she, if she don't mind, you could um, give us um, something, something small about um, what we've been talking about. Is it very hard? Just if, however brief it could be. In song form? Yeah. <clears throat> you can also give us a rap. A rap about this? Yeah. No problem. Okay, please. Okay, let me try. Listen up, listen to me. What you're doing is not right. You gotta wake up and see that you Misusing drugs is a problem To your health, to your family, and to your future So listen to me And take it off from me, as I said Wow, wow, wow thank wow. you, <laughs> thank you so Please wow. give us a wrap before we a wrap rap? it out <laughs> Aye, aye, give me a beat I'm not beat <laughs> <laughs> Give me a beat just, just do it the freestyle way. Freestyle? Yeah. All right. <laughs> drug abuse, drug abuse, drug abuse. This shit ain't no good no more. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, that has been us. That has been it from us. And uh, you still want to give us more? No, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, you are very brave, by the way. Are we... I told you I'm a man of few words. Okay, I yeah. forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, that has been it from us, and it has been the Cool Teens Pod Talk at Hana International School, Uganda. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye Ciao. bye. See ya. See ya, nigga. <laughs>